everyone, it's Angela with Mystic Moon bringing you guys a reading today for earth, air, fire, and water signs. This is just what spirit wants you to know today. So this could be anything that comes through very general. You can also watch for anybody else's signs as well. So I will put the timestamps down below as well as the corresponding signs that go with each element. So just take what resonates and get rid of anything that doesn't. These are going to be short and snappy, not too long. And uh, let's get into it. So we're going to start off with earth. All right, guys, if you chose the earth element, this is going to be for Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Let's go ahead and get your message. What does spirit want you to know today for earth signs? We have yin yang. Okay. So this is about balancing out the masculine or feminine within ourselves. This could also be for some of you that are dealing with another person. So totally up to you how you want to take that message. Let's see what we need to understand and know. We have the magician it says the magician says you can do anything. Take charge of your life. You can manifest what you need to be a success. So it's kind of like you can be the masculine and the feminine in your industry at the same time. You can be a mother and a father, you know, to a child. You can be this, you can be that. You're a jack of all trades. So this could be something to do with your career, something that you want to create in your world, but you're the magician. This pathway to success is ahead of you. You are perfectly balanced to make something happen. Now, if this has to do with another person, this could mean that you have the ability within you to um, create what you want in this situation. It's not about controlling another person. It just means that you can take charge of your energy and your life at any time and create your own happiness. Okay. What else? Okay. So we have the three of pentacles. This may be work related for some of you because it does say, follow your passion when it comes to your career, be the best at what you do, being compensated for your creative talents. So this is telling me here that you have the Midas touch. Okay. You were able to blend two energies together and alchemize something and make it happen. So if any of you guys have a particular passion or idea, or you're looking to upgrade in your career, or you're climbing some sort of ladder to success, like you are on the pathway towards ascension in work matters, or just anything that you're currently working on, it doesn't have to be career, but that does say career. So let's go ahead and get another message here. Play. So this is beautiful because this is talking about, are you having fun? <laughs> so it says, beloved one, it's time to set aside work for a while. Don't worry. We will oversee your responsibilities to their completion. Playfulness and laughter will lift your energy to that. You so that you'll return to work with a renewed perspective and heightened energy. So do you see this, you guys, this yin yang could be also you balancing out play and work. Like, are you working too hard? Are you working too hard on trying to make something happen? So spirit is saying, pull back a little bit, take a little bit of time off because whatever it is that you're trying to execute and do is going to be a success, but you got to find a way to enjoy yourself a little bit more than you actually are. If this has something to do with another person, you're trying to kind of work something out with someone kind of pull back a little bit and don't take it so seriously. And when you do that and pull back and relax, you're going to see how just magically things just come back together. So that is your message for earth signs. You guys, let's go ahead and go into air signs. All right, you guys, if you chose air signs, this is going to be for Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Let's go ahead and get your message. What does spirit want you to know today, air signs? We have blossoming abundance. Well, that's an amazing card to get. So something is a blossoming. Something is becoming abundant in your life. So let's see what this abundant energy is. Ooh, I love this. The nine of pentacles. I mean, that is abundance. This is kind of like the empress's energy. You're creating something on your own. It says reward yourself for all your hard work, being happily and successfully self-employed, cherishing your time alone. So some of you guys are really flourishing on your own. Maybe some of you are just kind of thinking like, do I need to be a part of a team? Um, do I need to have help? You know, do I need help? 
I'm getting here that you're doing just fine on your own. As a matter of fact, you're more abundant in doing your own thing. Um, if you're wanting to move forward and do some sort of self-employed type of position, you want to branch off from maybe a group, this would be a really good time to do it because you're very abundant at this particular time. What else? Oh, we have the King of Cups. King of Cups can be connected to the sign of Scorpio, but it does say honorable, devoted, mature, and warm-hearted. A romantic partner that you can trust. It says excellent advice that comes from the heart, getting involved in a cultural or creative endeavor. So some of you guys may not be working with someone, but there could be someone in your life or someone that's coming into your life that's really going to add to your creativity. They're really going to inspire you because they're going to be very warm-hearted and devoted to you and your happiness. This is someone that you can trust. This is someone who is on your team. So they're not taking from your life. They're adding to your life. So this is either an upcoming person, maybe in Scorpio season, which would be um, October, November-ish. Um, so that could be it. Or some of you guys could just have someone around you right now that's just a great partner. doesn't have to be romantic, but just someone that you can trust, someone who's there for you. What else? We have fresh air. Your body needs refreshment from oxygenate. Oxygen. Oh my God, I cannot say that word. You know what I'm saying though. Um, oxygenated air. There we go. Generated by grass, trees, plants, and flowers. Spend time outside today as near to Mother Earth. It's as nature's cradle as possible. Open your curtains and windows to reflect, refresh your home as well. I don't know why I'm having a hard time reading today. Anyways, so this is the deal. Maybe some of you guys do a lot of work at home. You're self-employed, so maybe you're working at home. Take, make sure that you're taking time to go out in that fresh air. Make yourself, push yourself outdoors. Maybe drink that cup of coffee or tea or answer those emails or whatever it is that you're doing on your back patio, whatever it might be, or just take that time to really connect and ground yourself with Mother Earth. So don't forget to breathe that fresh air. Staying inside and getting jobs done and things like that are great. You're creating a lot of abundance, but you do need to take care of yourself. But um, devoted partners, maybe romantic situations, maybe you're going from being single in the next few months to meeting someone. I'm also getting that as well for some of you guys out there. So anyways, beautiful reading for air signs. Let's go ahead and move on into fire. All right, fire signs. This is going to be for Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Let's go ahead and get your message. What does spirit want you to know at this time? upcoming energies or just energies that are present. Oh, we have the angel of balance. This kind of reminds me of that temperance's energy, which is Sagittarius. So there could be a special message for Sagittarius, but this really is for all fire signs. We're balancing something out or maybe something is coming into balance. What is this? Maybe we're feeling really calm or we're just spending a lot more time just being tranquil and chill and zen or there's a need for that balance. Oh my, I can't believe it. I can because spirit's really awesome like this, but there it is, you guys, that's the temperance card, Sagittarius. Take everyone's input, input into consideration. Merge viewpoints to create a better solution. Take your time, Those there's no need to rush. This is totally my message, I'm a Sag, okay? So this is the deal. What I did this last weekend is I took the time to ask my audience, what do you guys enjoy? What do you guys want to see? What's your input? That's exactly what I did. And I'm going to tell you right now, I feel so freaking balanced because I did that. I feel like I feel like I'm back into balance. I feel like I'm back into doing what I love to do. And what I love doing is bringing a variety of readings to my channel. So anyways, you guys, that's totally for me, but it could be obviously for you as well. Some of you guys might need to, you know, if something's out of whack with someone or some aspect of your life, it may be that you need to kind of sit back and think about some solution, you know, a creative solution. Take your time. You don't need to rush it. 
but kind of see all viewpoints. Sometimes we can get so caught up in, in our own versions of things. We can get so caught up with what we think everybody is thinking. Ooh, that was a bad trap for me. You know, we could just get, we can assume so many things that just at the end of the day probably aren't even true. And we can create a hellish place for ourselves. So if some of you guys have been in that energy, maybe my story will help you. Oh, I love this. It's the fool. It's never too late to start fresh, to start new. You know, it says, begin a new adventure, trust yourself, embrace your true purpose. So this is about you getting balanced within yourself again. Have you been living your life maybe for other people, maybe biting off more you can chew, trying to just please everyone else and take care of everybody else besides yourself. I know that I was in that position and I felt really guilty, but once I was able to just kind of face something and let it go, you know, I felt a lot better, you know, and I think that, you know, in a way it works out for everybody else too in the end. And so this, I think, is just something that's good for when you take care of yourself, everything else around you balances out and it's a good thing. Yeah, that's what I'm really getting with that. It's a good thing. So let's go ahead and get your final message. Be honest with yourself. See? Yeah. Yeah. Look into your heart and you will know the truth of this situation. It's safe to admit the truth to yourself for we will support and guide you through any necessary changes. Lean upon us for courage and the strength to take good care of yourself. Do you see that? Focus only upon your true desires and they'll come to you upon angels wings. So this is the deal when we're too busy worrying about everyone else or maybe even too busy thinking negatively. We're just creating havoc in our energy field in our lives. We're convinced that the world is against us. We're, we're convinced that, you know, everything that we do or every decision that we make, that everyone else is going to not be happy or they're going to be pissed. But when we start just being honest with ourselves and saying, God, you know, I really have to start taking care of myself. It's amazing how fresh energies or even maybe opportunities open up for even everybody involved on this particular path. So. When you take care of you, spirit takes care of you back. It's like this co-creation with spirit. So be honest with yourself. What's not working? What's falling apart? Why are you unhappy? Why do you feel imbalanced? Why do you feel like you're not living your life to your fullest? Really have this deep conversation with yourself. There is no rush, but try to think of creative solutions and try to come from the viewpoint of yes, taking everybody else's opinions and everybody else's feelings into consideration, but not at the detriment that you're not taking care of you. That's why angel of balance came out twice. We've really got to balance our viewpoints. We really got to be right there in the middle. That's the sweet spot being right in the middle. And when we're in that middle, new things start opening up. Suddenly the world just the skies part and we can see again. You know, we're feeling good again. We're feeling energized again. We're feeling like, oh my God, this, I can do this again. Not everything's going to go to hell in a handbasket. <laughs> so anyways, you guys, I hope that resonated with you and let's move on into the water signs. All right, you guys, this is for water signs, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, or, and Scorpio. So let's go ahead and get into your messages from spirit. What do you need to know? We have door to personal healing and happiness. Heck yeah. <laughs> so a doorway is opening up for you. Will you go through it? Okay, it's always a choice, right? We're always being presented with things. But will we go through that door to our personal healing and happiness? Sometimes that door, it, it it's opening and it's available, but it requires us to let something go. And sometimes we don't want to do that. So that can make it very difficult. We have the three of spring. Yeah, something is on the horizon here. So this door to personal healing and happiness, it doesn't mean you can't experience it right now, but you do need to kind of make a plan so that way you can get it through that door 
because it does say with the three of wands energy, plan your next steps with the eye on the long term. See, have patience. There are more good things to come. Satisfaction from a job well done. So something is on the horizon. A lot of happiness, personal healing and happiness are on the horizon for you. It's available for you right now, but are you going to take the steps through that door? It's totally up to us. Okay. So something is coming. But we got to walk away from something first. You see that? I knew that that was the message even before pulling this card. I just had a feeling. The desire for a more meaningful life. Yes, you want to be happy. You want to feel healed. But you have to leave something behind. Realizing that it's time to move on. It's time to move on from an old story. Maybe even an old way of living or being or even a person choosing to make a major life change. So it is your choice. You're going to have to make this choice on your own. No one can make this choice for you. You have to do it. Okay. So spirits waiting for you. There is personal healing and happiness beyond those doors, but you have to be willing to take those steps into that doorway. Okay. Or you will continue to stay stuck and stagnant with whatever needs to be let go of in this life for you at this time. So let's now take a look and get your last message. Look, we are waiting to shower you with this abundance of healing and love. We also have finances waiting for you. So if there's something that you've had some concern with money, that's about ready to shift and change. It says we will guide you in order to show you how to create and accept abundance. As we work together, your financial situation is going to heal as fast as you will allow it. You see? So some of you guys, spirit is waiting to shower you with this new abundance of happiness, success, healing, all of it. But you have to be willing to let something old go. It's either an old job, an old person, an old way of being, living. Something hasn't been working now for a while. And it's been actually holding you back from all of this amazing stuff. So you will have to make a choice what you want to experience if you'll allow it. Okay. So anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed that reading. Thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.